Good morning, everyone. This is John with the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. This is the weekly weather briefing for Monday, April 22nd, 2013. <clears throat> One of the main headlines we're going to cover for this quick briefing will be severe thunderstorms today and tonight, beneficial rainfall for this week, wintry precipitation across northwestern Oklahoma overnight, record cold temperatures expected both Tuesday and Wednesday mornings, and then more opportunities for rain late this week and next week. So first up, there is a slight risk of severe storms. It's primarily bordered by this Interstate 44, Interstate 40 kind of corridor in places to the north. <clears throat> the main threats with severe storms later tonight will be golf ball-sized hail and 60-mile-per-hour wind gusts. Um, we pretty much think the tornado potential is pretty low. Uh, most storms are, end up elevated behind the front, most likely with very large hail being the main threat. Um, thunderstorms will then spread southward through the evening hours um, and into the overnight. So tonight into early Tuesday, as storms kind of push off to the southeast there, rain will continue to spread back across the area, and then there'll be a chance of uh, a wintry precipitation, kind of a wintry mix across the northwestern portion of the state. We don't think there'll be any major impacts from this. Um, should be pretty light. Uh, moisture is uh, real kind of a concern with the system still, so probably not going to be a lot of moisture left over, but enough that you could see probably some rain, sleet, maybe some snow possible. Okay, so as the system passes through, it's going to bring another shot of some decent rainfall, especially for portions of northern and central Oklahoma and back up in the northwestern Oklahoma. Um, locations near Ponca City uh, can definitely see up to an inch or more. Locations to the, to the west of there and to the south could see a half to an inch. And then a, a good chance of, of a tenth to a quarter of an inch of across, across the rest of the area, across basically central up into, uh, up into northwestern Oklahoma. Go ahead and cover the drought monitor as well. Now, this drought monitor does not include last Wednesday's rainfall. Uh, the drought monitor is produced once a week. It's usually released on Thursday, but it doesn't take into account. It's created on Wednesday and doesn't didn't take into account last Wednesday's rainfall. So I'm sure there'll be a, a, a decent modification to this graphic, especially after rain today uh, when it's released on Thursday of this week. So stay, stay keep on the lookout of our webpage for the most recent uh, drought monitor for the area on Thursday. Right now, though, central Oklahoma is in a moderate drought, so we could see maybe a drop down to an abnormally dry, depending on how the condition, soil conditions are. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet when it comes to the drought, but uh, we're getting closer and we're making some progress. But uh, it'll really come, really be important when we get into the summertime, just how much modification of the drought we can get, how much rain we can get this spring um, before we get into the end of the summertime. So I wouldn't say we're out of the woods yet, but we're getting closer. As I mentioned before, Record low temperatures are going to be possible across some portions of the area Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. Uh, low temperature records for Wednesday uh, for Oklahoma City is 35, and we're forecasting a low of 34 Wednesday morning. So definitely could see records broken across the area. It's going to be very cold up in the northwest, uh, only a low of 30 Tuesday morning for Woodward and a low of 28 for Woodward uh, Wednesday morning. So go ahead and take a look at the next seven days. We've already kind of highlighted what's going to happen Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. There's going to be another chance of rain both Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with some thunder. Uh, right now, it's kind of hard to tell. Don't expect anything severe right now, just another good ch chance of rain. But we will see a warm-up as we get into the weekend with highs back up in the upper 70s, lower 80s for Sunday. Rainfall forecast Thursday through Saturday. We could see another good chance of, of up to a half inch of rain across the area, maybe even up to an inch to an inch and a half of rain across the area. So it could be a very good chance for another, another addition of rain to the region. So in summary, let's just go ahead and cover again. You know, there are a chance of severe storms across northern Oklahoma later today and tonight. Large hail will be the primary threat, uh, including some damaging winds possible. Uh, some wintry precipitation across the northwest overnight. No accumulations are expected, very minor impacts. Uh, very cold Tuesday and Wednesday morning. We definitely could see record lows, and we could see a freeze or a hard freeze warning come out for Wednesday morning. Additional rain chances late in the week, into the weekend. And with that, I appreciate you logging in. Um, don't forget to check our web page for the latest information. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we even have a YouTube channel. So make sure you follow all the, all the avenues of social media that you can follow us on. And always remember that our web page is the best place to get up-to-date information. Thank you and have a wonderful day.